Hey, what's up everybody? So on this video, I'm gonna be walking you through winterizing a two-stroke outboard motor. In this video particularly, I'll be dealing with a 75 horsepower Trager slash Mercury two-stroke outboard. So check it out, guys. All right, so you're gonna need some fuel stabilizer. In this video, I'll be using Stable 360 Marine, and I like to pair it up with some sea foam as well. Um, to go along with that, you're gonna need some stable fogging oil. Also, you're gonna need some marine antifreeze, and I like to get this tub kit that allows you to um, get this antifreeze running through your boat system. To go along with that, you're gonna need some earmuffs, and you're gonna need some grease. Um, we're gonna be pumping some grease through here. We're gonna do the prop as well, and we're gonna do the trolling motor prop as well. Um, and to go along with that, we're gonna be changing the gear lube oil. So you're gonna need the gear lube and the pump. So for this job, you're gonna need a few tools. Uh, you're going to need whatever tools you're going to need to get to reach the carburetors and you're going to need a flathead to do the lower gear oil and you're going to need a socket kit to get those uh, spark plugs off. So there's always this debate of having your tank full or empty. I personally like to have it full just because I hear that if you don't have anything in there it might start to rust. So the first thing I'm going to do is get some premium gas and put some stable stabilize in there with some sea foam and I'm going to run the boat for about 10 minutes. All right, so when adding stay bill, make sure you don't add too much. It might cause some gunking upness to happen, um, but make sure you use enough just so it can um, stabilize the fuel. All right, so once you got the fuel stabilizer in there, go ahead and hook up your garden hose with the earmuffs and let that run for about 10 minutes. All right, while the motor is running, I'm gonna go ahead and take the top off and open it up and get into the carbs. So this step is pretty optional, but I like to run an antifreeze through it just in case there's some holding water in there. And if that water freezes, it's gonna expand and cause a lot of problems. So I typically like to run some antifreeze through it. Also, make sure you got your fogging oil ready. Um, you're gonna need to spray the carbs when uh, we get in there. So first, I'm gonna run the, some anodized freeze through it for a little bit, and then I'm gonna spray the carbs, and that should stall it out. All right, so once you have it all fogged out and stalled out, go ahead and just spray the spark plug areas and your bolt should be good to go. I usually like to pull the spark plugs and then spray it in there. Um, I usually put new spark plugs in next year. Go ahead and spray the plugs, two to three seconds. Go ahead and put those spark plugs back in. At this point, you should be good to go with winterizing your boat, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull it back into the garage and I'm gonna change the lower gear oils and grease it up and clean her up. So, so after you got it all stalled out and stored away, make sure you actually uh, fill the tank up to the top. Also, I forgot to mention, go ahead and put the cover back on. All right, now that we have the motor all ready for winter, um, I'm gonna go ahead and change the lower gear oil as well. Uh, I like to keep everything clean while it sits, and that way, once spring comes around, I'm ready just to pull the boat out and ready to go. All right, so for this next part, to change the lower gear oil, all you gotta do is undo this screw for the oil level, and then the drain hole down here.
So as that drain, it's nice to pay attention to what kind of color the gear oil is. If it's very metallic, that means their gears are grinding, there's something wrong in there. Or if uh, you see a lot of water build up in there, that means there's a leak somewhere and water is getting in. But usually a pretty good color is that brown, green, bluish color. While you're waiting, go ahead and put your pump into the uh, oil and get that ready to go. All right, so once it starts dripping, go ahead and just wipe it off and plug in the pump to pump in some new oil. And then go ahead and just pump until it comes out the top hole. And then once it comes out, go ahead and screw it back on. Go ahead and plug the top one first. And then before you plug in the bottom one, just make sure uh, you have the plug ready. It does come with a little washer, so to make sure that gets back on there. Uh, make sure you don't over washer. That can lead to water getting into the gearbox. All right, go ahead and pull it off. Alright, there you go, and that's how you change the lower gear oil. So for this next part, I'm just going to pull the prop off and grease it. Go ahead and pull her off. Depending on what hub kit you got, I'm going to go ahead and pull it apart and wipe it all down and then throw some new grease on it. Make sure you clean off any fishing line or stuff that's stuck in there. Alright, once you got it all cleaned off, go ahead and just put some grease on. I like to put more than not enough, so. Go ahead and grease up the washer as well. It's nice to have some clean grease on there. Uh, just so there's no erosion while it's just sitting over winter. Alright, go ahead and slip the prop back on. And then go ahead, throw a little grease at the end there. And I like to grease the knot up a little, just a little bit too. I put the little uh, washer, lock washer back on and put the nut back on and should be good to go. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my grease gun and hit all these little grease points. Um, just check your horn manual just to see where all the grease points are at. Another thing I like to do is uh, take the prop off the trolling motor and clean it up and grease it back up as well.
Oof. Make sure it's nice and clean in there and get everything out. Once it's nice and clean, I like to throw a little bit of grease on there as well. It's pretty good to go and put it back all together. All right, so one last thing I like to do is wipe her down and vacuum her up. Um, I just like taking these extra measures just to get the boat ready. I know it's really hard to get it done during the spring because you're always ice fishing and you just never know how fast that water is going to open up. So I like to take those extra measures. But anyways, I know it's a sad time for us, but you know what? The hard water is upon us. It's getting closer, it's getting colder and can't wait to get out there as well. So anyways, I hope this video helps you out. If you do have any questions, please feel free to ask. But anyways, get out there and enjoy the great outdoors. Thank you all for watching.